I ask you all to rise. Diplomats in the UN Security Council pause for a moment of silence for aid workers killed in Israel's war on Gaza over the past six months. After the reflection, the focus shifted to the work of UNRWA and Israel's attempt to dismantle and discredit it. The government of Israel seeks to end UNRWA's activities. The agency's request to deliver aid to the North are repeatedly denied. Our staff are barred from coordination meetings between Israel and humanitarian actors. Lazzarini said Israel is also limiting UNRWA staff movements in the West Bank, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to keep schools and health centers there open. Israel's ambassador to the UN said UNRWA should be defunded and shut down. UNRWA is creating a sea of Palestinian refugees, millions of them, indoctrinated to believe that Israel belongs to them. Calls for UNRWA's closure are not about adherence to humanitarian principles. These calls are about ending the refugee status of millions of Palestinians. Accusation that UNRWA deliberately perpetuates refugee status are false and dishonest. The agency exists because a political solution does not. Before the meeting, Jordan's foreign minister said Israel's attempts to dismantle UNRWA go back many years. Long before October 7, UNRWA has been the target of a political assassination campaign uh, by an Israeli government that uh, wants to do so in order to uh, kill uh, the uh, Palestinian refugees issue. In January, Israel accused 12 UNRWA staff members of taking part in the October 7th attack. To this day, Israel has provided no evidence to back up those claims to either the head of UNRWA or to the UN Secretary General. Nevertheless, the Secretary General has ordered two investigations into the matter. One is concluded and the results are expected to be released publicly on Monday. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.